If you want to grow an economy, you need investment. And public cash can act as a bit of a fertiliser for private firms. Bamboo Marketing in Worcester received £30,000, which helped them take on around 20 extra staff. The grant has just been a massive help for us. We wouldn't have been able to stay and push forward as much as we had, especially in the last six months where it's been more challenging. It's allowed us to keep on track with our strategy for the business. But is the government investing enough into our region? Not according to Labour. Quite clearly there hasn't been enough. As yet, we've not reached the sort of level of funding that we had under the previous government. So what's changed? Well, check this out for an explanation. Under the Labour government, there was this big beast called Advantage West Midlands that roamed around the region, spending £3 billion in 12 years. But the coalition government said it was poor value for money and killed it. In its place, it created seven local enterprise partnerships, or LEPs. But with each having an annual budget of around £500,000, there's now a lot less money to spend. But does local expertise mean LEPs get more for the money? Yamazaki Mazak is a global manufacturing business with a base in Worcester. It provides some of the 10,000 apprenticeship places that the Worcestershire LEP has helped create. It's been very important in my life, it's uh, changed me quite a lot. You're not only learning, you're getting paid for learning and you're doing academic and hands-on work so I think it's a, it's a great thing to get into as a young person. Not even as a young person, I, I was 19 when I started so it's not too young but I've seen apprentices start at 22, 23 so it's never too late really. LEPs also get money for specific projects through the government's growth deal. Birmingham gets the biggest share, Worcestershire the smallest, and in total it's worth around £950 million for the region. The money goes toward multi-million pound ventures like redeveloping Kidderminster Railway Station, which Birmingham and Worcestershire have come together to fund. But even this extra investment is dwarfed by the billions of pounds spent by the old Advantage West Midlands. In tough economic times, businesses need to be encouraged to invest in the local area, but how much public cash is enough to get them to jump on board.